Hi, hello, good, have a good day. My name is Renzi Cristo. Our topic for today is about Jack Bank and cable polling information. So I've been 17 years in this industry. I'm working as a designer, electrical engineer, and also I'm working for electrical instrumentation and telecom as a field engineer and also the construction engineer and also do the inspection QEQC as well. So this is all of my experiences that I will give you an idea based based on my all experiences related of my discipline that I am experiencing. So today Duck Bank. So what is Duck Bank? So that we can understand exactly the basic information, this is the most important thing that we need to understand basic requirements in the journey of our construction activities okay so this is the sample of that bank so as you can see that is that bank some of the newly graduate from the colleges so now you can see this is the duck bank there's a lot of duck banks information in other YouTube as well, you can see as well. So, okay. So, Duck Bank with MCT cable support. What is that MCT? That is multi uh, cable transit. So, as you can see the slide, there is a hole, and then you can see that blue one that is our MCT transit cable. Okay. So when after passing through the cable, they will put the support so that it will be pitted your cable. There is a different different sizes of that MCT. Okay, so you can also verify and check that one during the construction and during the materials receiving. Easily identification is there. All of the information from the catalogs as well. Mm -hmm. So that bank with cable supported to fit in the center. So this is the important thing. So after the cable falling, after the cable fall falling, so it will be in the center. So must be center and supported with any other support that you can fit it in the center. So now as you can see in the in the slide there basically putting in the center after that you need to provide a sealant or seal you need to seal that one to provide any any equip any materials that providing by the company or the contractor it's a foam so you need to provide that one so it's totally sealed your cable why there's no any other air gap and any other hole that will be that showing okay then duck back with cell foam lubricant as you can see this is the one and you can see in the other side that is in the construction side underground some of the pvc pipe it's not uh, covered it's not sealed with a lubricant or foam okay should be covered right so duck bank installation of underground cable system. So conduit size shall be as per design. So every company, every project, there is a design how to prepare a duck bank. There is a there is a drawing for that. IFC drawing or AFC drawing, what we call. And also we have a minimum dimension of the requirements. So as you can see, we have a different, different uh, system that we are utilizing our duck bank. So it depends on the requirements okay so how we lay the cable so this is the formation of how you lay the cable so as you can see it's different different types of cable and also the voltage grid and system voltage it depends on the project there's an instrumentation telecom fiber optic <clears throat> it's different as power cable okay now the drawing section of the trends. So this is how you can see the drawing in your approved drawing when you are checking the drawings when you are at site, you are a construction engineer, you are the inspector, 
you can see that drawing. So what is the requirement? What is the standard? So there is a standard and permission of also your cables, how delayed, how do you do the back peeling and how you put the cable tile, <coughs> cable wire and uh, <coughs> cable tape, cable tape and also interlocking of the of the cable road identification. Okay. Now the formation. <coughs> This is the information, how it looks like. So basically, that is a symmetrical tripwheel information that is a single run cable that you are using. And also there is a symmetrical installation. And here's the information of your duck bank or trends. And also the information of the duck bank, how you feel, spare. It depends on the project specification of the project drawing. <coughs> So, how do you do the cable polling? Paano tayo magpo-poll ng kable? <coughs> so, this is the worst example. Right? So, all of that examples, you can see how we pull the cable and how they protect the cable. So, cable stocking, cable socks, or cable grip. So, this is the most important thing when you are, why you are cable polling regarding this uh for example, I usually I usually remember this when I was in Occidental <coughs> in the composite cable, sub -C cable, we use this one as well. Okay, that one. So that is the grip connector. Cable stacks, what they called. So some of the cable polling is not very far and also not in the sub -C. It's you can basically buy manual. <laughs> You're not using this. Some of the Important things like usually I'm using the uh, we're applying this in the underground subsea cable that we are using. So cable roller and drum support. This is the most important as well. So when you are doing a cable pulling, the roller must be there as well, and also the drum. So support drums is always there to rule your cable to your rolling your cable drums. Okay and proper handling cable drums and cable pulling so how we do the proper handling so proper handling this is the way how to handle the cable lifting up and cable pulling and then how to rule our to rule our drums correct or incorrect and also how to do the correct way of your pulling your cable so this is how it looks right so you can see the differences and now you can apply in your construction. If you are a foreman, if you are a supervisor, if you are an engineer, if you are an inspector, you can see what is the difference now at site. So unwinding and rewinding of the cable from the cable also, when you're purchasing the cable that is fitted all, there's an arrow and you can see how it will coil inside of the drum so this is how it you unwind so when you are unwinding the cable drum you can see the arrow sign and then this is how you pull the cable okay don't do like that's the other side in your left side and your right side never like do that okay so separating the cable length in one drum to another transferring the cable drum to another drum so rewinding so the size of the drum and then you verify if this is clean you clean the drums there's no there's no other uh, screw or nails can be damaged of your cable okay so this is recommendation and not recommended how to uncoil your cable drums okay so figure 8 cable coil coiling or coil that the basic information, basic needs. After you do the cable pulling, you need to do a figure eight. If the cable is not directly terminated into the panel or into the field GB or instrumentation or whatever. So that's to be coiled after the cable pulling in order that the cable must be properly safe. There's no tension. Okay. So first tensile is the most is very uh, careful about that because that's our cable is uh, 
need to be protected as well. So that is the figure eight position. So that's always do like that. Okay. Some of the inspectors, some of the construction, when you are doing a figure eight position of your cable, that's they need to support a a wood. They will put the cable figure eight and some it's like that laid down to need to properly support it. Okay with a tarpaulin or any any other things. If it takes longer of your cable you are not using for one month or two months. So that's it guys. But that's the basic information of how you do the cable pulling and how you how you check your duck bank exactly during your project. So hopefully that will it will help you for your for to your start your job if you are a newly graduate. So this will be help you and if you like my presentation and my YouTube channel, please like, subscribe and share to your colleagues. Thank you and grace be with you all. Bye-bye.